And now another grueling day of testimony in the trial of a North Kingstown mother, Kimberly Fry. She's accused of killing her eight-year-old daughter, Camden, because the young girl wouldn't take a bath. It is our top story this new time. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live with the latest with the South County Mobile Newsroom. Yes, Danielle, more potentially damaging testimony today here at Kimberly Fry's murder trial. This time, it comes from a counselor who spoke with Kimberly Fry at the state prison in Cranston. Kimberly Fry once again sat at the defense table as yet another witness for the prosecution told the jury what Kimberly Fry told her two years ago. Lori Rizzo is a counselor in the women's division of the state prison in Cranston, the ACI. Kimberly Fry is on trial for the second degree murder of her young daughter, eight-year-old Camden Fry. Prosecutors say she strangled her to death back in August of 09 during one of Camden's tantrums over taking a bath. After a prison orientation session, two weeks later, Lori Rizzo testified that Kimberly Fry stayed behind in a small classroom after all the other prison inmates had left and that she asked, can I talk to you? Lori Rizzo said Kimberly Fry was crying and that the inmate told her she was a horrible person for what she had done and that she deserved to be there. During a conversation that lasted about 10 or 15 minutes, Lori Rizzo testified that Kimberly Fry said the last thing she remembered was her hands on her daughter's face before waking up in the hospital after she tried to kill herself. Lori Rizzo told the jury that Kimberly Fry said she drank four different kinds of medications and that as a nurse she knew what she needed to take to end her life. Lori Rizzo went on to testify that Kimberly Fry said she thought she'd probably end up in prison for the rest of her life and that she didn't care. The next and final witness for the prosecution is expected to be a detective with the North Kingstown Police Department who investigated this case. Live at Superior Court in South Kingstown with the Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.